Hey, my name's Doug from Tudor Games, but enough about me. Let's look at this beautiful 9072 NFL electric football game. So this is the 9072 model. That means it's the 24 inch long by 13 inch playing field uh, model. So let's take a look at the box quick. This is what the box looks like. And I'm gonna unbox this so you can get an idea of what you get inside. So that's the front of the box and that's the back of the box. You can see real quick that uh, we have a new app that we're very excited about. The app is free. You can download it and put it next to your iPad or next to a phone and use it as a scoreboard and um, to track your game. It has a coin toss in it, sound, music, everything to enhance your football experience. And that's free. If you don't have a smartphone, no problem. The game is great without it. It's just a nice little free add-on. So let's take a look inside. When I open the game, oh, there it is. All right. There's the playing field, the NFL electric football playing field. I'm just going to pop this right out of the box. Nice thing about this box is it's reclosable and storable, so you can keep your game in there. And uh, everything goes back in there nice and easy for later use. Okay, so let's take this thing apart. First, you want to pop off these corner pieces. Corner pieces protect the game during shipping. All right. So, metal playing field, uh, NFL in both end zones. First thing uh, you'll notice is that underneath the cardboard here is a full rule book, three languages. This has assembly instructions, rules of the game, everything you'll need to play a fun game of electric football. And then 70 NFL stickers. So you get two stickers for every team. These can go in the end zone right here. That's what they're designed for. If you don't want to put them there, that's fine. You can put them on the sides. You can use them for other things, but uh, that's what they're for is they go onto the playing field uh, so you can play your favorite teams. Now, I'm going to take this up, show you the back of it. This is what the game looks like. It's a sturdy metal field. Let's put that there and show you what you get inside. So inside the bag some of these things i want to show you are first of all the frame clips so the frame clips are clips that go on the frame makes sense just put one on one side two over here and one on each side for the goal post the next thing are the goal posts so you take the goal post you plug the goal post in like that When you're doing this, you're going to want to straighten them, make sure that they're lined up perfectly. And then we have the markers. So this one is a ball marker, so it goes on this side of the field. And then you have two more markers on this side that plug into these so that you can mark your line of scrimmage and first down. So these uh, can slide together or apart. If it's uh, fourth and 20, then they're further apart, of course. And then this slides down the field to mark the line of scrimmage. All right, what else do you get? Uh, you get two triple threat quarterbacks. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you pop them together. Triple threat quarterbacks run, pass, and kick. And that's what they do. I'll show you more about that in a little while. It also contains the bases and the players. So these are the bases and the players that you're going to need to play again. So red team versus the white team. Two types of bases or cleats as we call them now. These are really neat and really new and this makes the players run whatever direction you want them to run. You use these strength cleats for your uh, linemen and you use the speed cleats for your skill players. They look like little skis and if you want to turn them different ways you can make your players do anything you want them to do. It also comes with full numbers for each team so you put the white numbers on the red team and the black numbers on the white team. Six felt footballs. Footballs pop out. This is what you put on to the kicking tee so that the triple uh, threat quarterback can kick. You put it up in his arm so he can pass. Now all of this is great, but the game's got to work, right? We don't have plug-in games anymore. So the old electric football games made by Tudor, when they were first invented, uh, all plugged into the wall. 
which was great, but maybe a little dangerous. So this is the field drive motion generator. And what this is, is a self-contained safe pod that you plug the uh, play action remote control into to power your game. Let me show you how it works. First thing you do is you peel off this red uh, self-adhesive st sticky tape. Take this stuff off the field quick. Now you notice when I tip this up, the field goal posts and the markers, nothing falls off. It's kind of nice. Now where you want to mount this for this size game is in any corner. 45 degree angle, about an inch from the edge. Doesn't have to be perfect. Try to make the, uh, the little uh, uh, receiver there near the edge. And you just peel that off, stick it on, again, any corner. And then you take your field drive or your uh, play action remote control and you plug it in. This takes two AA batteries. So put a couple of AA batteries in there. The way this works is you can vary the speed of play by turning it up and down. Make your players run faster or slower. You can go slow motion in the middle of a play. Pushing in starts the action, letting go stops the action. So that's how the uh, brand new NFL electric football game uh, runs. And that's, again, hidden under the table and you're ready to play. So I hope you enjoyed that quick unboxing video of the 9072 NFL electric football game. Play electric football.